Hey yo, I found this game and it's begging to be hacked. Let's check it out. Are you a real developer? I mean, glitch. A real one. A space dev. I don't think so, but you can prove me wrong. Press any key. Glitch, 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 error. Critical some wowie error. That's, uh, that's because it's made for the Huawei game jam. Error 0x something, error 0x something, error 0x lead. Okay, exception is stop something z one. I think that's the first error. Uh, and AF58, I have no idea. And this also has no meaning. Okay, error message glitch, I mean dot glitch slash info dot CFG. Are you a real developer? Uh, are you a developer? Press escape to exit. So let's take a look at the folder. We only had this file before, now we have uh, these files also. Let's uh, start up a text editor and get this in here. So here we could theoretically change some values, I think, but this looks a bit glitchy, so let's let's not touch it. Uh, let's go into the glitch folder. Uh, gl uh, by the way, dot glitch, that would be hidden on Mac and Linux. So on Windows we have a little bit of an advantage. So it says info.cfg, but there is no info. There's boot, something about partitions, there's canon, and there's generator. Okay, lead. Okay, maybe if we press escape to exit. Let me press escape. Oh, now there's a file. Let me take a look at that. Okay, uh, are you a real dev? Hey, are you a real dev? Can, can we actually manipulate that? Let's give it a try. No, it doesn't, doesn't change anything. But uh, we can, let me just undo that, but we can here. I'm a dev, that's such a variable name. You can change that to Turuhu. Let's uh, try it now. Press any key. First test passed. New line, new line. You are indeed new line. A space dev! Exclamation mark. Okay, check it out. Where are we now? Nope. You might want to fix the doors. That door reminds me of, uh, okay, max 800 megawatts. That door reminds me of uh, this door in that creepy game. Don't be afraid, it's just a glitch. Uh, what was the cre creepy game called again? I don't know, the one, the horror game about relax about controlling test subjects. Well, what if we, okay. Huawei error, door key, misconfiguration, error, so-and-so, error, such-and-such, -such, error, that and this. Exception is number two. Okay, error message key star 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 v star star key not authorized error. Um, so we have keys, authorized keys. Nope, keys a lot. But check it out. This is like a mask. So one two three four five six seven eight 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 characters. How many do we have? One two three four five six seven eight. Yep. All right. You know what? We're gonna uh, run a little check as to whether there are any yep there are three files that have v in it uh, third to last position would be fa783 vyv key f this one okay let's copy that paste it in here and um, run the game again man that uh, intro logo the could have really removed. First test passed, you are indeed a space, space dev and the door is working. All right. This door is locked. This door is not. What if we keep going this way? This door is locked. This door is locked. This door is locked. This door is locked. Okay, let's go back and check out that one door that is open. Really nice and cute style. Okay, so we have a computer here. Mm-hmm. Power shell. We can jump. Come on, boot a bit faster. Okay, boot. Uh, that makes me think. Of, okay, boot.ini. Check partitions, read P names, starting up error screen OS. Error screen OS? No. Wow, we error. Wrong partition. Okay. Uh, let's look at the boot.ini. Okay, so we have Huawei, Huawei uh, screen OS. We don't want the error screen OS, we want the spaceship server. I don't know, let's let's swap these. 
Does that make sense? Let's see if it does. All right, off we go to the room. It's just around the corner. And click. Can you go a bit faster? Meanwhile, space. Also, space. Hey, what are you booting now? Read P names, starting up. Wowie spaceship server. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? Wowie OS 2.0. Which door is open now? This one? Yes, it is. Fix the generators, otherwise, the cannon won't be able to shoot the asteroid. Hold up, that's not the correct power output. Do you want to destroy the whole ship? Crazy! The power demand configuration is way too high. Find out the correct output. Okay. You know what? There's this generator thing. It Yeah, we, we saw it. It has 800 or 600, I forgot. What if we just set it to 1? Will the error be the same or will it adapt to the fact that I chose a number that is way too low? We need power! Okay. So it says... 800 and 800 watts watts. Can I just go and check it out again? Wrong power demand given we need the correct output demand. All right, so it does react if I change the number It doesn't even say whether it's too high or too low We need power. All right, so setting it to 800 that should work Fix the generators all right, the door has been unlocked. And we are done here. The generators are working. And all these doors are still locked. Okay, how about this? Yeah, this one's open, this one's not, this one's open. And here we are. Okay, we have some weird uh, blue and purple stuff, but let's just hit the red button as the text said. It said something about pressing the red button so we can shoot or something. And now our spaceship, quietly, because space is quiet, shoots a laser beam or something like that. What the heck? What happened? The asteroid is still there. Did you set up the cannon phase ID correctly? I, I don't know. You tell me. What is... Uh, what is... Uh, is, is this? No. Uh, the cannon? Yeah, we have a number here. Error... something A, B, C, D, elite. Exception is 5. Error message wrong for cannon phase ID. Hmm, well, okay. Thing is, not sure what to do here. Now get to the bare ridge and shoot that darn asteroid. Okay, so we have a 29 set. And just so happens, this the, the, the buttons here in binary. Let's see, that's one, uh, not two, four, so five, eight, so 13, 16, so 29. 29. So we need to convert this over there, which is 1, 3, 11. So 8, so 11. Yeah, we need to type in 11, I think. So this is really cool. There's not too much, I think you call it ARG decoding elements. There's not too many codes going on. You don't actually have to use a decoder except for this binary stuff if, you, if you're not familiar with binary to decimal conversion. And this is a very simple number, thankfully. I really hate it when they have just huge strings of code and you don't know what is what. Uh, I mean, unless you are studying computer science at the same time. Okay, so can we shoot now? Come on. Let's go. Bam! Alright, thanks for playing. Uh, let me know if you didn't get how I finished this game. Basically, I just had to edit the files that the game generated after I launched it for the first time and the second time. And then the, the end thing was just converting 011101 or something like that. Converting that to decimal and that was 29 and then I could conclude that 01011, which was the other row of code, that one would be 11. Anyways, if you know my channel, I really enjoy taking games apart and uh, modifying them in like on the file system, let's just say that. And this game actually demands that you do that. So I think that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.